After pulling an unexpected victory in Michigan, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders lost to Hillary Clinton yesterday in Florida, North Carolina, Illinois, and Ohio, but tied with the state secretary in Missouri. But even as the results were coming in, he still managed to rally a cheerful and energetic crowd here in Phoenix. Cronkite News reporter Zi Zhang attended the event and spoke with Sanders supporters. Those, ra those at the rally were very excited, energetic, and loud, all there to support the self-proclaimed democratic socialist. <laughs> Supporters stood for hours in a crowded space to hear Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders speak for the last time before Arizona primary. Many young and passionate. He's able to get out to this young crowd and say, this is what, this is why you're struggling. I see why you're struggling and I'm going to point it out. And a lot of people don't really value young people's opinion. They don't really see the strength, what could come of, you know, supporting young people. And he does. Phoenix, are you ready for a political revolution? The revolution that Sanders speaks about often includes topics like raising the minimum wage, reforming campaign finance, and the immigration system. His young supporters say these issues connect with them deeply. The economy, breaking up Wall Street, that is very important. Also getting money out of politics is extremely important. However, to those in college, Nothing is more appealing than his advocacy for making public university tuition free. I'm blessed to have a family that can support to, um, that can afford to send me to college, but not everyone is so lucky. According to reports released by the Census Bureau, voter turnout of young adults has declined since 1964. But in this election cycle, polls show he has captured a disproportionate share of young votes, while Hillary Clinton is favored by older voters. We tell young people you got to go out and get the best education you can for yourselves, for the country. And yet millions of our people are $30,000, $50,000 in debt because they got an education. That's crazy. After winning in delegate heavy states like Florida, Hillary Clinton now has a comfortable lead in the election. But Sanders' campaign says he has a long-range strategy that would allow him to regain momentum later in the election. Live in the Media Center, I'm Zizone, Cronkite News.